Hey everybody, it's Rich R. M. Autodiag, and today we're going to have a look at repairing this instrument cluster out of a Ford Focus. Okay, so you might remember this one off a previous video. Um, we diagnosed this was causing some uh, issues with starting and not revving up. So we've got it out and we're going to strip it to pieces. If you want to check out that other video, I'll put it in the card just above here. Um, so first thing we're going to do is, if we flip it over, we need to get uh, all the back off. So if I just point with a screwdriver, you can see all these tabs around the outside need to be um, pried back and then we can get this, this back cover off and then we'll uh, keep on making our way in. Okay, so that's the back off, and if anyone's playing along at home and they want to know part numbers, there you go, there it is. So we can see the main board here, and as um, I said in the previous video, usually what the issues is, these pins in here where the main connector goes on, on the other side where they're soldered in, the, the solder joints start breaking up. And cause some issues so to get to that we're going to need to um, get this bit of board out so we'll, what we'll need to do is we'll need to uh, get the front panel off as well now uh, that's clipped in down on these pieces here that you have to just lever up and push forward so if you can just see here these two black pieces here you can see them this side you just got to sort of lever it up a bit and keep a bit of tension on it to push the uh, the front piece back and get them out. So I'll just carry on and do that and that'll be it. Okay, you can see we've got the uh, the front piece off, and you can see these these tags that we were just lifting up here. That's one side. And I don't know if we can just about where those tags are. You can see these little lumps here. That's where they were hooked over. So. We're just down to the uh, to the gauge set now. Now, obviously, we can't uh, pull the back off because we've got all the gauges in the way. Um, so, on the bigger gauges, you got to turn them anti-clockwise to come off, and the smaller gauges go clockwise. Um, so, you just twist them and give them a bit of a pull, and there's one. Two. Obviously, it's um, usually good to take note where they've come off. They will pretty well only sit in the um, the lower positions there. As I say, these ones can be a bit more awkward, but they go clockwise and pull, and clockwise and pull, and we're down to uh, getting this off. to one side as well and we're pretty well down to it now so what we've got to do is we've got to get this separated off of here so we've got some more tabs here sort of following all the way around again and then we should be able to uh, get the board separated there so we'll just carry on
Okay, so there we go. That's the uh, the last piece off there. And get that to one side. So we're just down to the circuit board there. And on the back side here, you can see where these two rows of pins are. I don't know if we can uh, zoom in a bit. Try that. Probably can't get it. What I'll do is we'll get the uh, microscope out and we'll see if we can um, get a zoomed in picture on some of these connections and see if we've got any of them cracking up. We'll get them resoldered and back together. Right, so just got a little sort of cheap USB microscope. Uh, you can pick them up on Amazon, eBay, places like that. I'll see if I can put a, a link in the description below. Um, so I'll get that plugged into a laptop and we'll see if we can do a, a screen share and have a look at the, uh, the solder joints a bit better. Right, okay, so we're on the, uh, the USB microscope and we've got it zoomed in. These are the, the soldered pins. And if I just get the end of a screwdriver and shot, you see these pins here. You see this bottom one. See the cracks forming around it. And the next one along starting to do the same. These are the solder joints that start causing issues. I don't know if we've got any more. Some of these look all right. When these when these cracks form, that's what causes a bad connection. And that's why the dash doesn't work properly. Yeah, we've got some more going on up here as well. So you can see this one right at the top here. See the cracks forming on that. So that's what we don't want. That's what's going to cause the um, intermittent no comms um, and all those issues that's causing it to not the start. So what we're going to do is we get soldering iron out and we'll resolder. We'll just go through all of these and we'll resolder them and then we'll put the dash back together. Okay, so we got some solder wire, we got some flux. We'll get that on there to help the soldering. We've got solder iron warmed up and off we go. Okay, so we're all done with a quick solder down there. What we'll do is I'll move this back around. And we'll uh, we'll double check all our uh, all our joints with the um, microscope here. Get it in position. Let's see. We're happy that we've got no cracks left. Everything's got solder on it. Nothing's uh, touching each other, shorting out, anything like that. So I'm all pretty happy with that. So these these end ones here were the worst. Where are they too? So we can't see any cracks in there now. So what I'll do is I'll um I'll get some uh, solvent and clean off all the flux so it's nice. And then put the dashboard back together, plug it in the car, and we should be all good to go.
and then yeah we're just going to put the uh, front back on and put it back in the car and pop the little back piece back on it just snaps into place and it's all done all finished get it back in the car start it straight up right okay we're back in the car we've got it plugged in and we've got lights and stuff so the moment of truth turn the key see if it'll start we got all the lights and we're running we're revving up so I think we're all good there so I'm pretty happy with that we'll um, take it out for a, t a few test drives and things but I, you know I'm pretty happy that we've you know we found those cracked solder joints so no problems there so uh, that pretty well concludes the video hope you found it interesting um, and if you want to have a go at repairing your own dash it's it's not too bad to do um, with a bit of care and thought and some soldering skills so uh, thanks for watching and uh, come along again cheers